what is good ladies and gentlemen aj47 soul mavericks crew london england back again episode two of four for basic conditioning in this tutorial i am covering how to be more explosive in your breaking explosive strength refers to the ability to exert strength or force as rapidly as possible in a given action basically fast powerful movements which brings us to plyometrics a form of exercise which involves rapid and repeated stretching and contracting of the muscles designed to increase strength. Athletes use plyometrics to assist them in activities such as running faster, jumping higher, throwing further and hitting harder. Almost everything in breaking is explosive at some point in our movement. This is why it's important to develop your own plyometric workout tailored to your own style of breaking. Considering we're not trying to run faster or throw further and each b-boy and b-girl is different, it's important to develop your own plyometric workout for your own determined goals and style. So I've put together these general explosive exercises which vary in difficulty in aims to help you achieve those determined goals. Ladies and gentlemen, please remember quality over quantity. That's why I'm not putting any reps below each video. These coming up exercises are not for complete beginners. For the complete beginner one, please check out my previous video. But if you have some experience, without further ado, here's my explosive workouts. Plyometric push-ups. In one explosive movement, push up and away from the floor as quickly as possible, bringing your hands off the floor. Naturally, if these are too hard for you, you can always do them on your knees. Hannibal push-ups are a great way to teach the body to explode up from the floor to your feet very quickly, whilst working upper and lower coordination. If this is too hard for you, of course you can just move the feet, which is still great practice for the harder one. Stab switches. Before continuing, you will need to make sure that you can carry your body weight on the basic stab freeze. In one explosive movement, pushing up and away from the floor from one freeze, catching on the other side. I refer to this as level 2 because I have a level 1 and a level 3. To make this more challenging for myself, I make sure that after the push-up, I catch on the hand I don't normally freeze with. This will bring balance to the side that I don't use as much. Stab free seesaws. The purpose of this series of exercises is to prepare the body in going up either to handstand, elbow freeze, headstand, or even power moves in explosive fashion, of course. Chair rolls. As well as a very practical exercise for strength building, I find them great to add into your flow and transition. Burpee variations. We'll start simple at first, and then we'll get slightly more complicated. Once you've seen all of them, feel free to mix them up and make your own. planks. For the power up plank try and explode up in one movement. If this is too hard to perform on your knees. For the pendulum plank try and maintain the plank form without sticking your bum up in the air too much. You can try the easier version which is the swiper plank. Thanks again ladies and gentlemen for watching. I do appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and do check out my other previous videos. I'm going to catch you guys soon. Peace.